Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I am sharing my design project for Victoria Designs and this is using the Bugs Junk Journal Project Pack. I will leave um, the links to the kit in the description box below. I had almost forgotten to share this uh, with you guys. I'm so excited about it for a few reasons. One is, of course, I get to use a gorgeous kit. And secondly, is I did something new that I haven't done before. Um, I took inspiration from Charlotte Peterson. She, um, I think, is the one person that I, I saw making these um, envelope and uh, paper bag junk journals. And I'll show you what I mean. This is all made with um, either junk mail envelopes or some of the digitals from... Victoria Designs as well as some paper bags. I think maybe there is one paper bag. So it's all pockets and tuck spots and just little places to tuck things in, little secrets, little notes, etc. I had so much fun putting this together because it was not really a journal per se. It's more like um, an envelope little album, I guess. It's got little pieces of ephemera here and there. You can either use, you know, within this project or in other places as always. And, you know, I just did a little bit of um, additional embellishing here and there. So this is a large pocket, which is one of the envelopes. And I added some gorgeous uh, pieces from the kit. Now, all the digitals I have used in this little envelope booklet, I guess, um, it's all from Victoria Designs. I used the um, the Bugs project pack as well as um, some additional pieces that I had from other of her designs or their designs, I should say. Now, um, the other thing I wanted to mention, um, I did some coffee staining, some coffee spraying. This is one of the pages that if you print it out, you print it out in regular size. So like the, um, the large 8.5 by 11 sheets. Um, but I did shrink the pages down because I wanted them to fit into this little um, this little booklet and you can see just the different envelopes and little places to tuck things in I stamped these little tickets and just added them to the Envelope this is like a die cut envelope and then the Tim Holtz um, Slot pocket of course some additional pieces again. This is from a, I think one of the different kits and then the little one is from the the bugs kit now I am NOT a fan of bugs let me just say this so I kind of used most of the pieces that didn't have anything um, showing with a lot of the bugs um, the kit does have lots of really nice pages that I mean the bugs look so real that's why I didn't use them <laughs> that's how that's how real they look my friends okay um, this is just a little uh, envelope um, that I made with book page and some stamping and then on this side, just another little pocket with some tickets and tags. And then in that little bag there, it's just another large tag. So you can see it has lots of little hidden tuck spots and places to add things to it. Made this little file folder with some um, cardstock, I guess designer cardstock. And uh, just some additional ephemera pieces here. You can see how I've used the envelopes and kind of flipped the pockets in different ways and the flaps in different ways just to um, add more pockets and little places to hide things. So I really fell in love with that project um, that I saw that Charlotte had done because of, of all the envelopes, I got so excited. Um, and of course, because it's a design project, I decided to use more of the design pages to decorate it. Here you see those gorgeous little appliques. I love those. They just kind of you know, make things look a little different. Again, the other side of one of the printable envelopes. And some of the ephemera also is from uh, J9 Scraps, which I will link below. So here you see I've made a little secret tuck spot on the side. And then it's got the little pockets at the bottom again to hold some additional tickets and journaling cards. This is a vintage um, wallpaper pocket. I actually sell these in my shop. So if you're interested, I, I have sets of them. Um, and just check the listing as well. And I really like, um, you know, the variety of things you can add to these little envelope booklets. So here's a little tuck spot here. And then inside you can do some secret journaling or writing or poems, etc. I love how chunky it feels. And like I said, I didn't really think about writing space because what I wanted to do was just 
fill it with so many goodies. Just so many little places to take things out of. And you can see this one actually, I made this tag out of one of the digitals and I wanted it to be a little bit larger to fit in that large part of the envelope. And then again, just made some little secret flips and flops and you know how we all enjoy doing that right now. So this is another piece of um, one of the digitals and I just cut it up into a little booklet. And then the back of this one here, I also made a large kind of tag to tuck in the back and it's like a double sided one. I'm going to have a hard time tucking this in for sure because um, that just always happens while we're filming and sharing this with you guys. So. Um, I hope you're enjoying this share. Uh, I do have lots of other projects that I've done for Victoria Designs, which I will link below if you're interested in seeing. If you are new to my channel, hello and thank you for being here today. And for my subscribers, thank you so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, it's just so wonderful to be able to share my creations with all of you and get such wonderful feedback. So I am definitely going to be sharing with you my um, next tutorial. This was based on one of the videos I recently posted posted um, and that's kind of what I I had most of the requests to do so that is coming very soon so stay tuned and uh, yeah just I really loved you know creating this little um, envelope booklet that's what I'm going to call it because it's just got so many pockets and tuck spots etc um, but not really journaling pages and you can see I just added lots of little appliques lots of fabrics lots of trims and just lots of um, little fun things to um to look at okay i hope you enjoyed the share thanks so much for stopping by check out my playlist i have lots of tutorials lots of craft with me videos um, even some asmr if you're just interested in hearing sounds of paper which i love anyways i will see you soon and uh, thanks so much for stopping by